let's look at this set. Each of six persons, Amit, Rohit, Urjit, Satish, Manish, and Kapil, have a certain number of certain amount of money with them. The amounts with them are in the form of notes of only two different denominations, rupees 100 and rupees 50, and the number of rupee 100 notes with any person is twice the number of rupee 50 notes with him. Further, the number of rupees 50 notes with any person is distinct, and each person has at least one rupee 50 note with him. Okay. So, what I can capture now is the name of the person, how many 50 rupee notes that they have, how many 100 rupees notes that they have. And of course, if I have both these counts, I can also get to the amount that they have. I also know if you have X 50 rupees notes, you will have 2X 100 rupee notes. This is known to us. Let's work. The number of rupees 50 notes with Satish is same as the number of rupee 100 notes with Kapil. Okay, so if I put Kapil here and he has a 50 rupee notes, he'll have two a 100 rupee notes. And this number is identical to Satish's 50 rupee notes. So this is two a and by extension, this will be four a. Wonderful. Next is while Manish has 750 more than Rohit. So let's say this is Manish and this is Rohit. So if Rohit has B and 2B and Manish has C and 2C, the amount of money that Rohit will have will be 50B plus 200B. And the amount of money that Manish has will be 50C plus 200C. Or the difference between them is 250 times of C minus B. And this is told to us equal to 750 or C minus B is equal to 3 or C is equal to B plus 3. C is equal to B plus 3. Why I am engaging in this exercise is I want to reduce the number of variables that I have to deal with. So I will get rid of this C and 2C. I will replace it with 2B and 2B plus 6. So, 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 not to be B plus 3, B plus 3 and 2B plus 6. This is fine. Now, the next part for this is going to be the next line. First, let me get rid of all this working. Next is Amit, who has the least amount, has 250 less than Rohit. Now, the amount with Rohit was clearly identified 250B. Now, amount with Amit, which is also the least, which is also the least, A and 2A, 250B minus 250A is equal to 250. Or B minus A is equal to 1. Or B is equal to A plus 1. Given that I have two things in B, I don't want to do this. What I want to do is A is equal to B minus 1. So that this A turns to be, I still have fewer number of variables to deal with. So this will turn to B minus 1, this will turn to 2B minus 2. Okay. Now the last person mentioned is, Urijit has exactly 600 rupee notes with him. Urijit has exactly 600 rupee notes with him, which translates to he has exactly 350 rupee notes with him. And the total number of 50 rupee notes with the six of them is 23. The total number of 50 rupee notes with them is 3a plus 3b plus 5. 3a plus 3b plus 5 is equal to 23, which is another way of saying a plus b is equal to 6. Now remember, we were also told the number of 50 rupee notes with any person is distinct and each person has at least one 50 rupee note with them. Among the available numbers, among the available numbers, look at B minus 1. It has a special it has a special value. B minus 1 has to be minimum. Has to be minimum. Also, B minus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 1. Or B has to be greater than or equal to 2. If B is greater than or equal to 2, the possible solution sets here are 2 and 4. A being 4 and B being 2 works. How about B, A being 3 and B being 3? No, 
then Kapil and Rohit will have identical number of 50 rupee notes, which is not possible. How about B being uh, higher than A? No, if B is higher than A, let's say if we were having B as 4 and A as 2, if this is 4, this will turn to 3, which is unaccept unacceptable. We can't really have that. How about it being 5 and 1? If this is 5, this will turn to 4. This turns to 1. Now, hopefully, you can see Amit will no longer be the person with the least amount of money. It will be Kapil. So, this is also unacceptable. The only acceptable case that exists is when A is 4 and B is 2. So, this will be 4. This will be 8. This will be 5. This will be 2. This will be 1. And this is 3. Because these are precise numbers, I'll go ahead and mark them out separately. Once I get these, I should also be able to get 8, 16, and what else? 8, 16, and 10, and 4, and 2. B minus 1 is 1, so double of this. Okay. Now the amount with them 4 into 50 is 200, 8 into 100, so 500. Oh, sorry, 1000. Another way to look at it is 250 into the 50 rupee amount that you have. So 250 into 8, 2000 here, here 1000, here 2000, here 5 into 250, so 1250. Uh, 400 plus 100, so 500. Then 250 here. And here, how much? 150 plus 600, so 750 here. We have the precise amounts available with all six people. We have the precise number of notes available with all six people. Let's get to individual questions. What was the total amount with Kapil? Kapil had 1000 rupees. Option B. What is the maximum amount with any person? The maximum amount with any person is with Satish, which is 2000. What is the difference between the total number of notes with Manish and that with Satish? Manish had 15 notes, Satish had 24 notes. So the difference between them is 9. For how many persons is the number of 100 rupee notes with them the same as the number of 50 rupee notes with any other person? Does someone have 6 50 rupee notes? No. Does someone have 2 50 rupee notes? Yes. Does someone have 4 50 rupee notes? Yes. Does someone have 10 50 rupee notes? No. Does someone have 16 50 rupee notes? No. Does someone have 8 50 rupee notes? Yes. So for three people, Kapil, Rohit and Amit, for Kapil, Rohit and Amit, the number of 100 rupee notes with them is same as the number of 50 rupee notes with somebody else. So the answer here has to be option C, three, and that is the entirety of this set. Thank mm -hmm. you.